and welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. wanted to talk about the Vectrex again, and this time I wanted to bring up not the uh, machine itself or one of its games, but an accessory for it. Uh, years ago, like I want to talk 13 years ago or so, I got this, the Vec Flash Multi. Uh, it's made by Richard Hutchinson, and uh, it's a really great multi-cart. You can plug it into your Vectrex, and uh, you can actually put a whole bunch of different ROMs on here. Through the top, there's a USB connection. I'm going to show you how that works in a second. Uh, I've been really, really loving this thing. It's been a solution to a lot of homebrews that appear and uh, games that are in development. Really, really like it. The downside is, I think this particular cartridge, now it's really, really good quality. I, I love this the work that Richard did on this thing. I think my particular unit here itself must be going bad, and I'm going to show you why. First of all, let's turn off the Vectrex. And now I'm just going to plug in the Vec Flash Multicart. And if I turn it on... Nothing. Let's turn it off and on again. Starts to work. And then it does. And it's it's pretty, um, it's been doing that a lot recently. I find if I just reseat the cartridge, I have tried using an eraser across here. I find if I reseat the cartridge a few times, it eventually kicks in. Let me show you. Attempt number two. This time it didn't even see the cartridges in there. Attempt number three. Okay, we're working. So, now it's functional. Uh, that was three attempts. I've had to go five or six times occasionally, but uh, it's really nice. You can actually um, use the joystick here to select among a different bunch of uh, cartridges or um, uh, games that are on here. I've got some 3D stuff, uh, all good things, which you've seen in the uh, in the Asteroids discussion. Um, and then you just choose of the four games, which one would you like? Now the downside is, I'm just going to jump to the very end here, page eight. I got the Vectrex Rolly game here and uh, Xantis, which uh, was just recently released as a freely available uh, bin file. Um, this has been one of the limitations is that it only has eight pages and a total of four things that you can put on there. So 32 total uh, number of games. And I find that if I put a 30 second one on there, it doesn't seem to want to flash. It, it'll take 31 just fine. But on the 32nd uh, game, it, it, I'll show you the program that I use for this. It doesn't seem to work. Um, other limitations that the Vec Flash Multi has, uh, it doesn't work with 64K games, or is it 32K games? I'll show you in a second, but there's some that I've loaded on here, and I've patched them, and I've done everything that I can, and they just don't work. So yes, only 32 games, I think really only 31, which we'll cut to in a minute. And this reseeding has really been getting bad lately. And in fact, that also happens sometimes too. It just dies after a while. I've, uh, I've left this thing on for parties. In uh, I've got a, a demo mode that I've got. Uh, somebody has set a few swirly patterns to music. And I thought, oh, I'll leave that on as something cool in the background. And then I'd come back an hour later and the Vectrex had turned off. So I'm not, I, I'm not liking the fact that this thing needs to be reseated several times. That can't be good for the pins inside there. Uh, and it's getting a little flaky. And I, I think I've, I've posted a few questions. Richard Hutchinson himself got back to me on one where I asked, like, have I just flashed this thing too many times? And he said, no, 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 you can flash this thing like a thousand times, no problem. Uh, so, yeah, I, I was a little bit worried that this thing was was running out. And I've got a bit of a problem here because I love to load ROMs on here. Uh, stuff like that uh, that Xantis game that just got released or the Vectrex Rolly game. 
And now I'm not going to be able to for much longer because this thing is starting to cut out. Then again, it is 13 years old, but still, I've got a problem. Fortunately, the solution to this problem has just arrived in the mail. I just got this package from Richard Hutchinson, this envelope here, so I'm just going to unbox it or, uh, well, I guess, unenvelope it. What we have in here is his latest version of that flash cart. Let me just give this a little... There we go. Now, inside here is the modern equivalent or uh, latest generation of the flash cart from Richard Hutchinson. This is the VEC Multi. Still just slides into the Vectrex as per before. It's not, um, it doesn't have the actual cartridge shape that the original has, but uh, the pins should be just fine. I'll show you in a moment. Uh, the difference of this one, instead of being flashed via USB, you actually just put a micro SD card in there. Now, uh, unfortunately, I didn't know that, so I had loaded up all my ROMs onto this uh, standard SD card. I'm going to have to find a, US, uh, a, a micro SD card and uh, put them on here, but let's give that a try. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to compare putting files onto the VEC Flash multi cart versus the new VEC Multi. And yes, even though I loaded all the games onto this 2 gig SD card, I did manage to find a micro SD card here, so I will be able to put what's in here onto this, and then this into the little slot up here. To begin with, what's the old-fashioned way of using the VEC Flash Multi? Well, I got a USB cable here. This would go into my PC, and this just goes into the top of here. I'll show you this right now. So here on my computer are the various bin files and VEC files that I've downloaded. Uh, there's even stuff that's on that I got rid of since getting the Sean Kelly Multicart. Uh, there's even some files here that just don't work, like this demo, which is 64K. That's one of those swirly pattern things. That doesn't work on the VEC Flash Multi. But I'm gonna plug the VEC Flash Multi in now. And now that I've plugged in the other end of that USB cable, let's launch VecFlash. Now this is the program that works, and essentially it doesn't see that I've got the VecFlash Multi installed, but what I would do is basically go down this list, and I would actually have to check each of these items here, click the Flash button, that would send them into the Flash cart via that USB cable. It takes several minutes, and it's very clunky and very slow. And again, let's just choose as many as we can here. Now I've got 30 different files chosen, and I'm going to click on the 31st, and I want Xantis to be the 32nd. It won't work. It'll only take 31 files. So that's another limitation of the VEC Flash Multi. Now, let's try out this new VEC Multi with the SD card. Putting the micro card, 8 gigs was the smallest I could find, so uh, I think that's going to be way too much room for this. Let's put these onto here. Putting the new card into the laptop. There are no instructions here, so I'm assuming I can just drag everything and put them into there. Let's do that. Copy. This is the new SD card here. Paste. Now I just recorded myself putting all those files onto that 8 gig card and I was preparing to put it in here. And I noticed there's something in the way. As it turns out, Richard very kindly has shipped these with a 1 gigabyte micro card. So I'm going to do it again, but I'm just going to put it onto this 1 gig. Now it's probably for the best that I actually open that thing up because it looks like there are some operating system files in here. Again, there's no instructions brought with this, but I guess what I need to do is read the README. Well, the README's got some good info. Essentially, any new games I want to add, put them into the Games folder. Let's try that out. One other quick thing about the README, it mentions if you're adding new games, 
run menu maker from the card. So I'm going to do that now. And when I run it, my only option is to make. So I guess I'll make. Finished. That only took uh, 10, 20 seconds. All right, let's pop this thing out and see what we've got. So now I'm going to remove Richard's custom one gig card, put it back in there. That's it in place. Let's put this in the Vectrex. Now we're back with the Vectrex. Here's the Vec Multi. Let's put it in and see what happens. It's a little tricky to put it in. Okay, that was a little hard to put that in there, but all right, <clears throat> let's try this out. I'm going to turn the Vectrex on. Vec Multi. How does this work? Forty one pages. Wow. Okay. We're doing well here. And are my games on here? There's Xantis. Yeah, there's some in here that I've renamed myself, so that's definitely my file. Let's uh, try something out here. And even the 64K file works. Remember that demo 184 that was 64K in size? It works perfectly. Rolly Dash Spiel. Well, we got to play that. Yeah, we're doing well. And as usual, that game is really, really tough. Well, there we go. Yes, the VEC Multi works perfectly, and it's got plenty more room. I'm hoping this uh, cartridge uh, lasts longer than my previous one. But again, uh, I think that's just old age. Like this, Again, this is a 13-year-old cartridge, if not longer. I've had this thing for ages, and I just figured by now the pins are starting to go on it. So I'm very glad that uh, Richard has built a new version. I like the fact that it's got an SD card. That's going to make it a lot easier to throw these files on here. It's got plenty of 41 pages of files. That's great. Very, very happy with this. That is a good solution to my problem. I guess until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.